G'day guys, welcome back to the channel again and uh, today we're going to have a look at this little gaming console here It's basically called the Plus as you can see here and by its design uh, As you can see it looks like a Nintendo Game Boy from back in the day back in the 90s uh, Obviously it's a knockoff and uh, this one is actually called the model is the SUP-400 which is indicative of how many games are on this console as you can see we got one console one av cable dc cable and a user manual inside and these come in five different colors red white black i have the blue one in the box and a yellow one as well so yeah we're gonna have a quick look at this one today guys it has 400 games built in okay some uh, nintendo titles there amongst them and it has a three inch screen super white lcd slim and portable you can fit this in your pocket rather easily and you can hook this up to your tv as well has a rechargeable lithium battery which looks like an old phone battery like off a of nokia <laughs> 3310 or something like that and we can get up to six hours of continuous gameplay guys and uh yeah these are everywhere at the moment uh on websites like aliexpress and team i see them pop up all the time and uh yeah i thought i'll just try it out guys i bought this one from timu so i'll leave some links where you can get this below in the description you check it out yourself this only cost me about 12 bucks so i was purchasing a few things from timu and i just bundled this on the cart and i thought i'll check it out all right guys so let's uh, open up the box and we'll see what we get and here it is here guys we have the little game boy looking knockoff console here i have played this so that's why it's got a few fingerprints on there it's not touch screen but i have uh been using this console a little bit i've had it for a couple of weeks now okay as you can see very compact it feels good in the hand uh, nice screen on here and we've got our d-pad now there is a bit of a dead zone on this d-pad so you've got to really uh, make sure you're on the edges of the pad in your directions when you go up down left or right because this has like a diaphragm and it's joined together not separate uh, buttons same with the actual buttons themselves as you can see pressing the a button you see that all these other buttons moving so they've got one big pad for all these uh controls here okay so as you can see we've got four buttons there x y a b got a speaker there we've got the start and the select button there and this one here is your reset button to go to the back to the main menu now on the top we have the on and off switch here okay just turn that off for a second we also have the micro usb to usb to charge up that lithium battery in the back and this is your tv input uh we put the cable in and you could hook it up to your tv and as you can see here it's all clearly labeled just there on the back is where your rechargeable battery is and as you can see looks like an old school phone battery all right and uh, we're going to get about six hours of continuous gameplay with that so that's basically it for the actual uh little console itself and uh we've got the usb to micro usb cable just there to charge it up of course and there is your av out cable so you just plug that into the top there on the TV port and you can hook it up to your TV just here. So you've got your AV and you've got a mono cable here for mono sound on your TV. You also have one little user manual here as you can see Retro FC and it's basically going over the button layout and where everything is like I just showed you. Uh, there is a volume on the side here which I forgot to mention just there there's your volume control up and down okay and uh yeah basically everything that you got with the package here and how to connect it to the tv all right guys so let's turn it on i'll show you some of the games on here now there is a bit of glare you can see the reflection of myself in the, in the screen just turn down that uh tune okay so uh as you can see you got Chinese and English Go down to English press start and there's your 400 list of games there so you got Super Mario's you got the Turtles games Contra which is really good and these 8-bit consoles 
Adventure Island, Bubble Bobble. Okay, Double Dragon 2 and 3. Mortal Kombat 4, which is definitely not the PlayStation version of Mortal Kombat 4. Spider-Man. And as you can scroll through, you got many, many more games there. Donkey Kong from 1 to 3, Junior, F1 Race. There's a whole mix of uh, games in here. Galaga, Galaxian. Okay, some Olympic games there. So, uh, yeah, we've got quite a few games. You can just scroll by going to the left. Or you can actually use the buttons as well. Up and down. Okay, so if you want to go back, you just press the up, the X button, B to go down. Alright. So, let's uh, try a bit of Super Mario. Okay, I'll try to keep this console as stable as possible. I might even show you... Um, I'll just turn it up. So the music sounds pretty decent, right to the original game. As I was saying, I might show you it hooked up to the TV, it'll be a bit better. Controls seem pretty good. It's a bit hard to play. A little bit difficult to play through the lens of the phone here. about the glare guys there we go first level of Mario okay so let's try Mario 3 quickly Yeah, looks like the Super Nintendo version back in the day. I remember having this game. Alright. <laughs> Until I haven't played this for quite a while. Yeah, no, not a bad emulation of that. And, uh, yeah, you have to reset it every time uh, when you want to choose a different game. I wish it'd go straight to this screen rather than the Chinese English prompt. We've got Turtles. Let's, uh, try. Gallagher or something like that. And player. It's very hard. With this glare, it's pretty hard to play through, looking through the phone, but... Yeah, you know, classic Gallagher. So anyway guys, look, with this terrible glare, as you can see me in the background there, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll hook this up to the TV so you can get a good look at the resolution and the image of this actual game console. I think that would be better if I finish off the review by showing you uh, this uh, connected to a TV. Okay guys, so I've got the little uh, handheld console here, the little Game Boy knockoff, uh, mirrored to my TV now. Okay, so as you can see, it's just mirroring off the actual console itself. Um, my only gripe about this, really, is you can see there that 
cable's rather short. There's a bit of tension on it. That's as far as I can uh, actually reach from the actual side of the television myself. Um, I wish they made the cord a bit longer um, because that way you won't have to sit so close to your television screen. So yeah, on this particular television, uh, you know, it's a few years old, but uh, thankfully the AV uh, inputs are on the left-hand side of the television, not at the back. So um, yeah, if they were at the back, it would have been a big drama. So anyway, let's uh, go through some of the games here. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these other games. I already showed you Mario Brothers and uh, Super Mario 3. Got Contra, Venture Island, Adventure Island 2. Let's just go a quick game of Adventure Island. I'll turn the TV down a bit. Alright, let's press start. This is a bit like uh, Wonder Boy on Sega. So, you know, good game for young kids to play. These are pretty retro games on here okay there's a shooting button I was looking for that all right well that works pretty good let's get out of that once again, you know, it takes you all the way back to the uh, language screen. I wish you'd just reset and go back to the actual menu here. Um, just show you a couple of games here. Let's go Double Dragon 2 quickly. Okay. It's all in uh, Japanese there, I think. Graphics are a little bit glitchy. I did review a uh, NES Mini uh, knockoff console um, about a year ago, and the graphics are a bit, the emulation was a bit better than this one. But it's playable. Old classic, Double Dragon. the controls work fine yeah all right Let's try 1942 it's a good old classic from back in the day 1985 wow check this out <laughs> yep the controls on this one are a little bit I don't know, there's the dead zone on that D-pad like I mentioned before, so you got to really make sure you're pressing on the outside of that, um, the D-pad. But uh, yeah, it's playable, definitely playable. Well, let's quickly try uh, NES Classic Excite Bike. <laughs> guys probably remember this in the 80s if you're uh, as old as I am <laughs> definitely remember this one as a kid ah oh, wiped out Yeah, 
you really got to um watch where you're actually uh using this d-pad because there is that dead zone i was pressing back and it was going up so but uh yeah definitely playable try one more game for this video we'll try F1 race Give this one a go this looks like a similar game called Pit Stop I think it was called this might have been on the NES Times have changed uh, with the graphics these days, but uh, this is what we had back in the 80s. So, as far as retro games, you know, for a little console like this, for a very cheap price, it's actually, you know, it does the job. 8 bit graphics. So that'll be a wrap up guys of the review of this little uh, console here which look, happens to look like a, a Game Boy from the 90s, alright. Um, I'm not going to keep playing other games but you get the, the gist of it. Uh, there's many games on here as you can see, 401. We've got titles like Contra on here as well which is pretty popular back in the day. Um, so yeah. Pretty inexpensive overall not bad uh, do have some gripes with this uh, little system uh, when you reset it it always goes back to this uh, screen which uh, you have to choose you know English or Chinese every time I wish it just come back to the main menu here instead um, that way you don't have to hear that annoying music every time you finish up a game and reset it uh, and the cord like i mentioned is a little bit too uh short um i wish they made the av cable here uh for the little handheld console here at least double or triple the length it would have been uh, much better that way you sit back in your armchair rather than you know as far as <laughs> i'm just behind the tripod here and i'm really close to the television so uh, um, like i said you can get the version with the extra gamepad as well this is just without an extra two-player gamepad but for an extra few dollars you can get an extra gamepad where you can have two of your uh two of your kids playing um simultaneously so anyway guys thanks for watching this video um you know if you liked it go check it out um in the description below i'll leave some links but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this review on this little gaming system that i picked up from timu really cheap uh, like i said at the start of the video it was only about 12 bucks australian so you'd probably be able to pick this up for i'm guessing about seven or eight bucks us uh with the exchange rate today so anyway guys thanks for watching if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe like comment all that good stuff and uh hit that notification bell that way you'll know every time i upload a new video and uh have a great day or night wherever you happen to be when you're watching this video so thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one